At first, open a new project. Give it any name you want. Now select the firmware family A086. Change the compiler to Macro Assembler 32. If you don't have it configured, click Compilers and Download. Clear everything from the source code. Double click the A0H6, change the clock frequency to 1 MHz. Also change the internal memory size. Address 0 to 15 and data 0 to 15 are shared within same bus due to pin limitation in 8086. Now we need to d-type latches to demultiplex the address. Search 74HC373. Place a bus. Rename it properly. Connect the bus with it. Then again rename the wires properly. OE is output enable. As it is active low, connect it to zero. LV is latch enable. Connect it to address latch enable pin of 8086. Now search for 8255A. Chip select pin and reset pin must be zero. Connect read pin and write pin of 8086 to that of 8255A. As we will use port A and port C of 8255A, address 0 and address 1 must be the Q1 and Q2 respectively. Again, we use the same bus. Just rename them properly. Now search for a 7 segment common anode display. Connect it with port A. Now search for a stepper motor. Connect voltage pin properly. All we need now is a motor driver. Search for L293D. Connect voltage pin and enable pin properly. Get wires from port C. Then ground it properly. Finally connect the driver with the motor. Now go to the source code. I'm just pasting my code here. 
Link is in the description. The code will show 02F in the 7 segment display, then rotate the motor in 90 degree steps, then repeat the whole process. Now compile the code. You should see compiled successfully. Now, run the circuit. Thank you.